Hi everyone, welcome to another video of sysadmin tutorials. Today we're going to be putting together a very quick video on the tool called DS Query, which is included in Windows Server. So what is DS Query? DS Query basically queries your Active Directory and helps you find objects matching a particular search. So for example, if you've configured a device, it could be hardware or it could be a virtual device that requires authentication with your Active Directory server, it's more than likely going to ask you the IP address of your Active Directory server, a username and password to authenticate against the Active Directory, and also a base DN. So I see a few people having some issues working out what the base DN should be. So this tool, DS Query, is going to help us with that. So let's jump in with a few examples. At the moment, I'm on my Active Directory domain controller, which is a Windows Server 2012. It's called VMAD1. And if I pull up my Active Directory users and computers, we can see here that we've got a few groups located within the users folder. Now say you're configuring a device, as we were explaining before, that will be authenticating against your Active Directory. In this example, we'll say it's a virtual appliance. So we'll create a group in our Active Directory. I'll just call it Virtual Appliance 1. And within this group, I'm going to place my administrator. So from the device's point of view, I want to query Active Directory and anybody located within this Virtual Appliance 1 group, I want to give access to the device. So in the setup of the virtual appliance in the LDAP area or Active Directory area, we'll be pointing that to our IP address of our Active Directory server, putting in a username and password to authenticate against the Active Directory server so that we can query it. And then we're going to be putting in an LDAP string. So we want this string to match on virtual appliance 1. So this is where DS query comes in place. So if I want to find the base DN for that group, I'll type in DS query space group hyphen name and then the name of the group virtual appliance one so if I press enter it's going to give me the base DN right here so I'll just copy and paste this line in the base DN of the appliance some other examples that we can use DS query with we can query for a particular computer and also gives us the a base DN or the location of it. We can use it to query for a particular user. And it gives us the location of the user. And some devices I've even seen that we just need to point it to the OU and whatever users are located in that OU will be allowed access into the device. So to query for the OU, DS query OU hyphen name and if any object has a space in it we have to use quotation marks. Enter and this was your base DN. So there are a few other options with DS query as well. If you type in DS query forward slash question mark we can see up here that we can use it on a few things computer, contact, subnet, group, OU, site, server, user, quota, partitions or asterisks as a wildcard. So as I said in the beginning this is just a very quick video to highlight some use case scenarios for DS Query. I hope that you found it useful and we will see you in our next video.